Hey guys, it's uh, John V3 IPS. I'm going to do a quick deployment here uh, with my ICOM 703 and the LC156 backpack. And I'm going to try out the M104 antenna kit. This is made by JNC Radio. I got it from chelligans.com. And uh, anyways, a great little antenna. It's a small whip. Uh, look at the size of it, size of my hand, fits in a vest pocket, perfect little size to fit in a backpack and everything. And I've got coils for 40, 10, 15, and 20 meters. And the whip also can be used on uh, 2 meters and uh, 440 as well too. It's a little bit short for 6, uh, but I think if we add a little bit of wire on the end of it with an alligator clip, we can make it work no problem. So, very nice little uh, multi-band antenna. So. I got the ICOM 703 here, 703 plus, six meter radio with a built-in antenna tuner. It puts out 10 watts. And I've got the remote head for it right now. So let's turn that on. And 13.1 volts. I'm actually using a Fio NO battery. And right now we're sitting on, um, on 10 meters. So let's put the band down. Let's see what's happening on uh, 20. 20 is the magic band or sorry, the money band with 40. Okay, so I made this jig assembly here. It's just a piece of PVC tubing. I have a stud in the bottom, a stud at the top. I actually use this as an extender for another antenna uh, to add 12 inches to it. But anyways, this turned out perfect for my initial prototype, diamond CRM uh, bracket. Uh, and uh, I bought the um, SO239 mount for it because this antenna has an SO239 connector on it. So let's pull out the 14 meter coil. Everything's labeled, all made with uh, stainless steel and brass. Plug the whip antenna into it. Now, one thing you'll notice is uh, it does have a ring lead that comes with this uh, to add your own wire, but it does not come with, uh, with a radial. So. Keep that in mind, you may want to make your own radio. So let's plug the, uh, the antenna in, pull the whip up. Now for my radio, I have my multi-purpose radio here that uh, is missing. Uh, oh, here it is, okay. So I got my radials here and that's my 703 power adapter. So I actually have two radials. Uh, in this case here, we're only gonna use one and uh, we'll just lay this out a little bit. So another day of sub-zero freezing weather and I realize that uh, my radio equipment will work well in the cold. However, I have noticed that uh, we're gonna have definitely some issues um, with coax. So as it gets colder, the coax coax gets stiff. So okay, so let's check our connections here. I've got my speaker. 